Hi everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying another mullet fly from Colin McLeod's book. This is the Silica Shrimp. It's a glass beaded fly, plenty of red in it, which is a known attractor to the mullet. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel. Get access to the members only content monthly fly tying classes, as well as entering into the giveaways. You can also like the video, share the video, subscribe, hit the bell button, that all helps the channel to grow. So I've got my hook and my vise, and this is a B100G Camazan, that's a size 12. I've got four glass beads on here, um, but depending on the size of your bead, you might go five or six, I think, but, uh, Colin's got five in the picture in his book, but this is the size beads I have and four fits just nice. Also, the slightly larger bead um, when it comes to glass, the barb isn't going to score the inside of the bead, which can cause it to split if it's bigger, but use what you've got, suit yourself. I've started some uni, 8 in black. Um, you could use brown, use red up to yourself and I'm catching in my tail here and this is same as a lot of the mullet flies it's a uh, glow bright number four I'll trim this away but a shank length and then I'm ready for my body or I don't know what you'd call this it's so short um, which is peacock heral. I'm just going to take two strands and this is no eye heral, it's just ordinary from from further down the feather now in order to protect this a wee bit I'll twist it around the thread so the thread can kind of rip it I'm going to build this wee bumper hill and I'll take it off the thread catch it in fold it back and that's no bad there I'll just red tight and snap that away put a bit of varnish in my thread come into the back of this bead I don't want to get it on my herald then you still have a bit of play in the beads just the nature of having the multiple beads there time I put finish into that wet varnish and then I'll adjust these until I get them sitting how I like you you can turn them And then when you're happy, I like it quite often if I turn the hook upside down or get them to sit in a shape that I like, they sort of, they, they sit against each other better. I'm going to come in with a, a thin head cement and put quite a lot on there because it will actually go inside the glass. Try and get everything covered. And it looks like you're going to lose the shape of the beads, but you won't. The varnish or the head cement shrinks when it dries. But they'll all be gripped as a single piece held in shape. Um, and you'll be able to see perfectly. Like if I, the one that I had in my vice, I've already done that, that's actually two coats and you can see the individual beads quite clearly, the segmentation effect although I think it's more just the colour that really matters anyway 
there you go. It's a silica shrimp. Uh, tie some up, hope they're useful. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up below. And I'll see you for another one. Take lines, guys. Bye.